So you guys saw my unboxing video, you saw my quick run through of the iPad that was 11 minutes long, and now I have a quick video to go over um, some of the specific applications, um, more along the lines of pages, uh, for the iPad. Um, you guys know iPad has all different kinds of applications for it specifically. Um, the three main ones being Pages, uh, Keynote, and Numbers. I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of Pages. Uh, pages is available in the App Store for $9.99. You guys can see it right down there. Um, it is, like I said, $10.00 and... Um, Keynote and Numbers are the same amount of money. I only picked up Pages and Keynote. I'm just going to be going over those two for you guys. But um, Numbers, I don't really see what, how much use I would get out of that, so I didn't feel like purchasing and paying $10 for it. So let's go and open up Pages. And I think you guys know how to purchase application in the App Store, so I don't think I need to go through that for you guys here. Um, now, once you open up Pages for the first time, uh, it's going to give you a tap to get started with Pages. Um, and that will just run you through a quick tutorial on how to use the application itself, um, some of the features, but that's what I'm going to tell you guys about. Um, so, you can go ahead, and once you open up Pages, you can just go ahead and click down here, and you can open up a new document. And there are 16 different templates for you to choose from, uh, ranging from flyers, to blank documents, to letters, uh, to a recipe sheet, to party invites. So, there are all different kinds of things available in here. I'm just going to go ahead and choose the easy one. The blank template. Now, with this blank template, you can do everything that you'd be able to do normally in Pages, um, and more, especially with the touchscreen interface. Now, it's very simple to just go ahead and type away. Um, the typing, some of you guys were worried about it not uh, working out so well with your fingers being so close, but you can either have it in portrait or landscape. I'll show you landscape in a second, but it's actually kind of easy. I'll go ahead and start it off like I'm writing a paper. Let's see my name. Very simple to write. You can backspace, mess up. You can uh, do everything that you normally be able to do. Return. Uh, let's go with social studies uh, essay. Type that in. Next line. Uh, today's date. We'll throw that in there. Four, three, ten. And now you want to go over to the next line and say you now you want to throw in a title. Now you can very easily once you're done with that. Um, you can go through all the different options. You could go to body up here, and you could have the text already have a preset thing for title, and you could have it say um, American Revolution. You can have it say American Revolution, um, and that could be your title. It's very simple, just like that. Now, um, another cool feature with this uh, Pages application is that not only do you have all those different headings, subtitles, all that, you can go bold, italicize, underline, all that usual jazz, but if you go up here to this little information button, you get that and more. You can get all the different um, accessories, I guess you guys would say, of the words up there, but you can go into lists and you could um, put it into list format. If you're typing something and it notices you're making something into a list, it will automatically do that. And you can also choose a layout. You can double space it. You can triple space it. You do whatever you want. Columns. You can center it. Um, you could put it uh, to the right, to the left, whichever way you want. I'm just going to go ahead and center it. And you could also then, you could add pictures. You could add movies. You could add whatever photos you have in here. You can't add movies, but you could add photos. Um, let's say, let's just add a photo. This has nothing to do with the American Revolution, but let's just add a picture of apples. It's very simple. Just go ahead and choose the one you want. And it will show up there. You can resize it, two fingers, um, by slipping down um, by slipping down one of the corners. You can resize it, and then with two fingers, if you hold, you could rotate all the way around, however you want. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. I don't know what apples has to do with the American Revolution, but um, that's that. Then what you could do is you can go to tables. You could add different kinds of tables. You could add different kinds of charts. Uh, pie charts, all different kinds of charts they got there, and you can also add different kinds of shapes. There's pages and pages of different colors of shapes and uh, lines that you could add there. Very cool. Um, now let's go ahead and let's double tap this. And if you double tap a word, you can go to more, and in more, there's a built-in dictionary. So you can go ahead and type in definition, or just click definition, and it will bring you up the definition of revolution, or whatever word you double tapped. So that's a really cool little addition um, that they added a dictionary right into this. You don't need a separate application like the dictionary.com application. It's built right into your uh, Pages app. So we'll go ahead and back out of that. 
And if you want, you can copy and paste and do all that cool stuff like you normally would be able to. And we'll go back into here, and now we're going to go ahead and choose on one of the photos that we have. And you can edit the photo even more in here. You can uh, change the style of the photo. You guys can see it just changes the uh, little border around the outside of the photo. You can see that one adds a reflection, and this one adds a white uh, border around it. Let's go ahead and keep the reflection. And you, if you want to go even more in-depth, you can go to Style Options. You can choose to have a border, and you can choose the color of the border. There are all different kinds of colored borders that you can choose from. Let's go with um, let's go with a red border to accent the apples. And you can change the width of that border. You guys see so you can make it really big or really small, as she said. Um, you can have a dotted line. You can have it, all these types of things. Really cool. Or if you want to go even more into it, you can have different um, styles as they have available here. You guys see we'll move it around a little bit. Uh, they have different styles available there. Um, from the ones you see right there, to just around the frame, you have those little uh, notches at the corners. You can have it pinch it a little bit. You can have that. All these types of things that can make your photo just look that much better and make it look like it normally wouldn't be able to look um, just by itself. And you can change the effects. You can change the reflection strength. Um, you can change the opacity. And you can also add a shadow if you want, but we already have a reflection, so we're good with that. Um, you can also, I don't know if I mentioned that, but you can change uh, the scale of the border. Very cool. And you can go into a range, and you can just do all different kinds of things. You can wrap it around the text. If there's text there, you can move it around it, and it will automatically wrap around the text. You don't need to make any adjustments. It'll make the adjustments for you. Uh, also, with uh, the text wrapping around it, you can choose to have it wrap around it automatically, or you can have it do it by yourself, or you can have it go above and down. And you can also use this little extra space button, and what that will do, it will, it will give you all the extra space you need, or take away extra space um, from around the picture and around the type that is um, uh, on the document that you're selected. Uh, like I said, it's very simple to insert pictures, charts, all those types of things. There's a different setting option up here, document setup. What you can do in here is you can change the sizes of your um, headers. You can add headers, you can add footers, and you could change the indentations on the side right here. You guys can see, once you're done, you can choose what you want. So however you want it to look like, you can click done, and that's how the final project will come out looking. Um, you could type very easily. If you go and put it into landscape, what that will then give you is it will give you um, a full keyboard. They say that it's supposedly almost the exact size of a keyboard. But if you guys look here, I have the wireless keyboard, and it does dwarf this keyboard a little bit. But as you guys can see, it only has the Q to the P. It doesn't really have all this extra stuff on the side here. So it kind of does almost exactly get that. Um, so Apple knew what they were doing when they were doing this. Uh, making this uh, keyboard and it's very simple to type once it's laying down if you have the Apple case it's even easier because then they put it on a little slant but it's very simple to type here uh, you can go ahead and type away was very cool and you guys see if you t mistype something it'll automatically fix it for you was very cool um, there were many important people you guys see I spelled a couple things wrong there and it kept on fixing it um, I'm gonna say this App is really awesome, and I think you should buy it. Stuff like that. It's very simple. Obviously, your text doesn't have to be that big. Uh, you can write a paper on here. Like I said, you can make a flyer. Turn it back this way. Um, what I'm mainly going to be using this for is I'm going to be writing papers on here. I'm going to be sitting somewhere more comfortable, whether it be on a couch or my bed, and write my paper on here. And then what you could do for school, um, I'm going to write my paper on here for school or something like that. What you can do when you're done is you can go down here to the main menu, and once you're there, you can export. You can export it to iWork.com, and you can have it up there with a password and have it protected. You can send it via mail, or you can export it. And you can put it into pages, PDF, or a Word document and use it on your computer or print it out on your computer or do whatever you got to do with, do with it. Um, you could trash documents. So let's go ahead and we can just trash this one. We'll delete the document. just goes away. It's very simple. Um, right over here, I'll just use this slide that's already here for an example. You can, like I said, rotate the pictures, have it wrap around the text, as you guys can see it doing right there. Looks really cool. Um, double tap, and you can change that to all different kinds of things we'll keep it as title um, there's a lot of different options pages definitely go ahead and check it out play around with it yourself and you'll realize that it's very cool it's very fun and this is where I'm going to be spending most of my time with the iPad believe it or not is typing papers on it where I'm comfortable instead of sitting at a desk uh, slouching over not not being comfortable and uh, typing out a paper I'll be sitting on my bed throw this baby into landscape start typing away 
being comfortable, and then I'll export it, put it onto my iMac, print it out, have it ready for school the next day. Uh, there's even more features than that in Pages. Definitely go ahead and explore it yourself. Uh, it's a great application. Do I recommend you buy it? Yes, I do. I recommend you buy it 100%. Once again, $10 available in the App Store. Please let me know if you like this review. Please let me know if you like this application. Um, please, favorite, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, little thumbs up button down there. Please just go ahead and click that. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. It's right up there. And uh, make sure you guys comment down below on your opinions on this application. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Favorite, comment, thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, peace.